stuff on that I wanted to accomplish before I leave this planet. And being a community theater was definitely on my bucket list, one of the first things. And so this fulfills something on my bucket list, which is totally exciting. Yes, check. And, uh, and so that's really exciting. I have a very small part, but from what I understand, there are no small, there's no small actors. Or, no, there's no small, small parts. parts, only small actors. Well, I'm both, I'm short too. And that's uh, so the other raw rookie. I would say it's been um, a real eye-opener. I had really no idea how this worked. And it, it, every time I come to rehearsal, I learn something new about yeah. theater. And, and um, it's interesting. I think it's becoming one of my new hobbies. I would have to go back to 1980. Oh, my God. Well, I, mean, I can barely remember back that far. Okay. But I know the first role that I had was in the musical Music Man, one of the traveling salesmen, and I love it because it's the opportunity, it's not me on stage, it's someone else. Well, I have my own business, I'm a life coach and a hypnotherapist and I also do Reiki, mm -hmm. and uh, um, yeah, so I have my own business where I, I do that right here in Binghamton. Really boring IT. <laughs> But I've had a long and varied career. Database developer, reports developer for the government DOE at Bonneville Power. I love what I do. I get to play with computer databases. It's like a puzzle. I get paid to play with puzzles. It's a funny, funny script, and, and I, I, if people do pay attention and listen, and they're really going to get a lot out of it. I, I think it's a great script. I also yeah. think we're doing it funnier than the movie. The movie, the movie was, was very dry. was very dry. And that was the kind of humor they did back then. There, there wasn't a lot of smiling. I think we're doing it more on the humorous line. But I also think it's, you know, it's about, um, I think that they'll realize that what it is, it, you can't take love and marriage and make it just about, see, I'm the woo-woo one here because of the geeks. <laughs> you can't make it just about, um, about what your head tells you is right. You got to follow what your heart says is right. As long as the audience enjoys it, I think when they leave, they're going to say, damn, that night Watchmen was sexy. <laughs> oh, no, it's the maid with her gray hair that was the sexy one. <laughs>